Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Etero, where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So let's we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin, and as you can see, we have just gradually grinded higher in the last uh, five trading days. We did fall off a cliff in the beginning of the week and found support at the 20 exponential. And since then, we have just gone gradually higher. So 58,410 is where Bitcoin is at this moment. Technicals are all very flat. They do favor the upside as we basically bounce on the 20 exponential. And the target at this current stage is, first of all, 60K. And then the previous high zero 61k and then probably towards the top of the bullish band before breaking down again and as 62k and 62,796 break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50 at 49,000 k uh, 41 49k sorry so let's look at etra so very similar here. We also fell in the beginning of the of uh, basically on Saturday and Sunday, and then we just been hanging around at the twenty exponential. Nothing really has happened here. It does favor the upside as we have tested the twenty exponential uh, this often and basically bounce from it every single time. And usually, what happens after that, you basically rally to the upside. So um, yes, technically they are well, they are technically all over the place. Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI and the MACD are flat at this current stage. So it, it does favor the upside due to the fact that we have been bouncing around here, but the breaking beneath the 50 moving average, that could open the door all the way down to 1500 or even the top, bottom of the bullish band at 1455. So let's look at Cardano. And Cantarano um, has had a major week. We started off on Monday rallying significantly. And then uh, on Wednesday, we went uh, basically way outside of the Bollinger Band, 0 0.1.44, which also was the previous highs over here. And then it just fell apart all the way down to the middle of the Bollinger Band. And then uh, on Thursday and Friday, we have continued rallying. Technicals are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish. The uh, RS Darkastic, sorry, is uh, bearish. CCI is bullish, and the RSI is uh, bullish at this current stage. So we have find found support down here at 0 0.97, also in the middle of the bullish band at roughly 1.1543, and we have found major resistance up here, which we have tested twice. So at this current stage, it looks like we are most likely going to trade sideways. So it looks like we are going to go this way until basically the 50 moving average comes into contact with, uh, with the price level. But that is to be seen. Uh, either, every time we basically go outside the Bollinger Band, this basically breaks very hard into the downside. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, nothing really has happened here. Fell, we went um, outside of the Bollinger Band on Friday, Saturday fell, Sunday fell, and uh, on Monday we fell all the way down to the bottom. In the middle here of the Bollinger Band, and we've basically been uh, sticking around in the same area. Nothing really has happened here. Technically, they are fairly bearish at this current stage. So if we manage to break below the 20, that opens the door to the 50 at the 1.86. And underneath that, all the way down to 164. So let's look at NEO. So NEO took off on Monday and we went way outside of the Bollinger Band on uh, Wednesday, pulled back, and now we've just been um, at, right at the top of the Bollinger Band here. And we're trading at $34 uh, dollars for NEO. So technically, they are MACD is bullish, Stochastic is becoming bearish, CCI is flat, and RSI is flat. So a break below this area could open the door to the 20 exponential down here at $40. And underneath that, we have the 50 at the 60, uh, $36. So yes, 
it's not a lot of movement here. It's different from what basically happened here in February. We have just been sticking around um, uh, for quite a long time now, but it is gradually grinding. It's not like we are we are in, uh, in a downtrend or trading sideways. It is gradually grinding to the upside. So let's look at Dash. So this is even more boring uh, than uh, than uh, Neo. We had this massive rally on in February and then broke down all the way down nearly to the 50 moving average. And since then we have been basically, this is more grinded sideways uh, since the breakdown. So not a lot of action here. Technical indicators, they are all flat at this current stage. Um, rallies from here will most likely find resistance at 230 nine and breakdowns will most likely find resistance around the 200 so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button see our newest videos and you're welcome to follow us here on ether where you also can copy our trace the link is down below good luck and thank you very much